Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming uh, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to complete all of this week's Forza Thon challenges as I normally do uh, and in this week's Forza Thon you can win the number 17 Xbox Racing Ford Falcon which we haven't actually seen for a while uh, and it's very cool. So without further ado let's get stuck into the first challenge which wants you to get three stars on a danger sign in a Ford to win the number 17 Xbox Racing Ford Falcon. The next one wants you to perform 10 kangaroo skills to receive 55,000 credits third one here just wants you to complete a race in a hypercar to receive three wheel spins very very easy and the final one just wants you to win a race in the number 17 xbox racing ford falcon to receive 35,000 xp so let's get stuck into the first one in order to win the number 17 xbox racing ford falcon so it wants you just to get three stars on any danger sign in a ford so pick the ford of your choice i went for the gt horizon edition but you can go for whichever one you want, it does not matter. Uh, obviously it's a bit easier when you filter the map to have a look at all the danger signs on offer. Uh, fair few of them are actually quite easy, but I went for this one, the Byron's Leap danger sign. Uh, in order to get three stars you only need to get 550 feet, so it's very very easy if you have a very fast and powerful car. Now obviously for this one I'd recommend four wheel drive. Uh, luckily I've tuned my Ford GT Horizon Edition to have four wheel drive so it was very very easy and as you can see here I sailed past the three star mark and got 711 feet uh, and you only need about 550 so that was a very easy challenge to win the first Forza Thumb prize. Next one wants you to perform 10 kangaroo skills to receive 55,000 credits. Now I'll tell you exactly what a kangaroo skill is in a minute but I recommend you come here just off the airfield so you can see all the sand dunes now a kangaroo skill is basically getting multiple air skills in quick succession so that's two air skills in a you know in a row sort of thing very very quickly um, and obviously more air skills more kangaroo skills now the reason I recommend coming over here in the sand dunes is because there's lots of bumps, some of them big, some of them small, it doesn't matter. You don't have to get awesome air or ultimate air, you just have to get a couple of normal air skills in quick succession. Uh, obviously hypercars are normally quite good for this because very very quick, you just sort of bubble along, along the top and that's very easy, it won't take you long at all. Third challenge wants you to complete a race in a hypercar to receive three wheel spins. Again, another very easy and quick challenge. So pick a hypercar of your choice. As per usual, I used a Porsche 918 Spider, but you can use whichever one you want. And remember, you don't have to win this race. Uh, so I went to the Outback Highway Circuit, as I normally do. Set it up for just a one lap race uh, in Porsches only. And like I said, doesn't matter where you finish, whether it's first, fourth, fifth or last, does not matter. Just cross that finish line in a hypercar and you will win three wheel spins. Again, very, very easy challenges here. Uh, not that hard at all. So that one won't take you more than two minutes, if that. Uh, very simple and easily done. Final challenge wants you to win a race in the number 17 Xbox Racing Ford Falcon to receive 35,000 XP. Now, obviously, if you completed the first Forza Thon challenge, you would have won this Ford Falcon uh, racing. And again, I went over to my highway circuit. Now, this isn't the easiest car to get to grips with. So just a heads up, if you do struggle racing with this car, remember there is a skill perk called Pull Rank, which will start you at the front of the pack of every race for four races, uh, basically campaign races. So this exhibition race will count. Uh, and you'll start at the front of the pack in your number 17 Ford Falcon racing. Uh, so it'll make life a bit easier. Like I said, it's not the best car in the world uh, it is quite rare and a bit sought after but it's not always the best to race in I'll be honest um, I have tuned mine but if yours is stock you might struggle with a bit with it a bit because I know I did um, but yeah after all that it's not hard for so want a very quick and easy one uh, anyway guys I hope this did help you out I know like I said before most of you guys are probably pros at this now uh, you're all probably used to it and know all the challenges but I still like to try and help out the other person if they need help and I like I said I just hope it helps you guys out uh, don't forget to stay tuned and subscribe for more videos not just like this but obviously with Forza Horizon 4 just around the corner uh, I will be bringing out as many helpful guides as possible in that game and I've got some very very cool video ideas coming up and of course I will be doing some giveaways I'm not far off 2,000 subs so when I hit that I'll be doing a little giveaway uh, but a massive thank you for everyone and for all your support it means a lot to me trust me I appreciate it more than you realize uh, but again massive thank you and good luck with this falls on guys see you later